Hey everybody, welcome back to Off the Wall. I'm Mike. And I'm Sol. And we are breaking down just a flurry of announcements and news that came out of San Diego Comic-Con over the weekend. Um, a lot of stuff came from Marvel, not so much from Warner Brothers in DC. We're going to kind of get into all of it as best we can. Let's let's kind of get the, uh, the, the annoying stuff out of the way, um, which is just Warner Brothers in DC really didn't show up to comic-con not at all um, no it's, and i think too part of it is that like everyone was having the henry cavill rumors i don't know who started those rumors and so everyone got really excited for that and put their expectations like here when for dc we've learned that our expectations should be much lower than that so not only was expectations high they didn't really bring much to san diego comic-con yeah and and I think somebody that we're familiar with, I cannot remember who, who it was that said this on Twitter, but said, you know, he's filming The Witcher season three right now. Like yeah. he was supposed to start filming this past weekend. So if he was going to be there, he would have been there to announce it. So I, I almost feel like this was kind of, uh, unless they're saving something for DC fandom for this year, but as of now, and it's July 24th, they have not announced anything for a dc fandom yet for this year so i don't know what's going on we got a very short trailer for black adam to, uh, for black adam i'm saying black adam too for black adam and a first look at shazam fury of the gods um which go check out our uh, trailer reactions to those yep those are those are all everything's everything i'm just gonna drop everything all at once at this point <laughs> so much to drop uh but um, yeah, so other than that, I mean, there was some an, an announcement about a new Batman Spawn comic book um, that uh, Todd McFarlane announced, which is, I mean, it's cool, but it's not what we're looking for, especially when you compare it to what Disney and Marvel brought to, brought, what the MCU brought, which, uh, yeah, with the, with, the, with the Henry Cavill thing, you know, that's just a very clear case of, like, when I say DC dropped the ball, it's not because of the Henry Cavill thing, like, mm -hmm. I knew that was a long shot. My expectations of Henry Cavill coming back as Superman are at an all-time low right now, the way DC's been handling things. But they dropped the ball in the sense of, like, they just didn't bring much. Yeah. You San Diego Comic-Con. I agree. And it, we're, we're well past the halfway point into the year. So, you know, we still haven't heard any more information. You know, this was their last chance to... Obvi and obviously, they're still struggling with the Ezra Miller stuff because there was mm -hmm. nothing about The Flash. We still haven't seen anything for Aquaman 2. And I think if the Ezra Miller wasn't being um, Ezra Miller, right? Uh, yeah. That we would have gotten a lot of Flash stuff at San Diego Comic-Con. So I kind of feel a little bit bad for DC, but they also they kind of put themselves in this situation. And by saying nothing and ignoring it, they ignored it the first time Ezra Miller came up as a problem. In, I forget if it was like Norway or Sweden, I forget oh which God. country. The um, They stayed quiet, hoping it would go away. And then he terrorized people in Hawaii. We find out he terrorized someone in Germany. He has so yeah. like If you live anywhere in the in world, <laughs> if you live anywhere in the world, your chances of being assaulted by Ezra Miller are never zero. Like, <laughs> they're just not. And yeah, I, I think you're right. I feel like had the, all this drama not been going on, we would have had a big showing for The Flash. Yeah, 100%. Feel like, but also, like, Batgirl. There was nothing yeah. there about Batgirl, and that I think that's done shooting. So yeah, We, we would have had Michael Keaton up there. We would have had uh, the girl who's going to play, is it Supergirl yeah, in the know. movie? I'm for blanking on her name right now, Latina, which I feel so bad that I'm blanking on her name. But uh, like, I dare you. So we would have we would have had probably all of that up on stage. And they were like, we cannot do any of this. Yeah. So and then also too, Aquaman 2 with the Amber Heard stuff. They're like, we cannot do anything with this either. So yeah. they're kind yeah. of in a we can't show anything because people are all they're going to talk about Ezra Miller. Or they're going to talk about Amber Heard and. So yeah, so um, Sa Sasha Kaye is who's playing yeah, Supergirl, Kaye, yeah. and yeah, Aquaman's the one we've seen the we've seen nothing for Aquaman mm -hmm. too. We've at least had a trailer for the Flash, 
Yeah. Um, so, yeah, unless they announce a DC fandom like next week, I don't know if we're getting one this year. And if we're not, yeah, that's, I mean, but anyway, let's, let's move on from that. Let's kind of get to what everyone's talking about and kind of the only real big, heavy, positive things to get excited about came out of the MCU. I mean, we haven't had a showing like this from, from the MCU at Comic-Con in a bit. Yeah. Um, this was, this was the first, cause you know, we're finally into a new saga Mm -hmm. in the MCU up until the multiverse saga the multiverse now. saga we've had the infinity saga we're into the multiverse saga and i think kind of the first big thing we should talk about is that phase four which we're currently in right now will end with black panther wakanda forever which we got the first mm -hmm. trailer for our reaction for that is up here on the trailer um a very emotional very mm -hmm. um just kind of a very atmospheric and tonal trailer it was less about setting the setting up the movie as was just setting up kind of the feel for the movie it was mm -hmm. a very world building trailer and i think that's going to be a lot of this movie honestly but uh, that will be the end of phase four and then we got a big preview for both phase five and for phase six which i don't think anybody i think everyone kind of was hoping for some phase five stuff i don't think anybody saw phase five and six uh, right in, 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 especially right. Not as much as we got Especially because we have D23 later this year. Oh, my God. Yeah, we do. Wow. Which kind of makes me wonder what we're going to get at D23 now because we've already had Star Wars Celebration this year. We just had a huge showing at at, at San Diego Comic-Con. So, yeah. We'll probably get some trailers and we'll probably – they might fill out those because they gave us dates. Yeah. But they did not give us titles on everything in uh, Phase 6. They might fill sure. that out. I'm looking for the date, what the date is for 2020. Uh, September, nope, wait, nope, nope, nope. Um, well, okay, so September 9th through the 11th of this year is when we're going to have D23, um, and that will be in Anaheim. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's going to be, I think there's going to be a lot of trailers, and like you said, a lot of dates getting filled out. Probably some casting announcements, too. I yeah. think we're going to start seeing some casting announcements, because um, we didn't get a lot of that. No. At San Diego Comic Con, we got a lot of just kind of confirmation of what we already knew. Um, so, but we got some big uh properties and we got a lot of dates put in yes. stuff. Um, because we got uh for phase five, we got confirmation of uh Blade is going to be coming out November 3rd of 2023. We know that we're getting we finally have a title and it's at a set release date for the fourth Captain America movie starring. Anthony Mackie is Sam Wilson's Captain America because Sam you Wilson is Captain order. America. Yeah. I can't believe that ever had to be a conversation, but it was. That's coming out May 3rd of 2024. But I think the two biggest reveals for Phase 5, and I think you know where I'm going with this, are that we're getting the Thunderbolts to close out phase five, which I think people kind of speculated, mm -hmm. but it was cool to get that confirmation. And then the thing that made me both super excited and super nervous at the same time is we're getting me Daredevil too. born again on Disney plus 18 episodes, 18 episodes. And we've already confirmed that Charlie Cox is playing Matt Murdock. Yep. We saw him show up in Spider-Man No Way Home, and it was... In the She-Hulk trailer, too. In the She-Hulk trailer, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the She-Hulk trailer, um, <laughs> pops up at the end in what looks like an homage to his black and yellow suit from the comics, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. Um, they're finding a way to make that work. <laughs> I didn't think that yeah. one would ever really work. Um, but I say that makes me excited, and it's excited because, yay, more... Char and also, uh, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio is coming back. Yeah. Um, and I would assume the whole gang too. They haven't said like the rest of the yeah. cast is, but they're gotta have Foggy in there. They gotta have uh, we got Karen Page. We got two years because it's spring twenty twenty four, and again we just said we got D twenty three coming up. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll get some more for that as well. But yeah. what's got me nervous is the eighteen episodes because one of the things I always said about the Marvel shows that were on Netflix was that they were too many episodes, thirteen episodes at like an hour a piece was just a bit too many. Cause you'd get to into a few in the middle that just kind of felt fillery and like little too drawn out. 
But the big complaint we've had about a lot of the Disney Plus series has been they've been too short. They've been 30 minute episodes and there's only been six. You know, I've we we've been saying, you know, try to hit it around 45 minutes to an hour and like eight to ten episode seasons. 18 episodes is a lot. That's three seasons of of Loki. It's three seasons of Ms. Marvel. It's three seasons of Moon Knight. What the hell story are they looking to tell? I think, I know that you said, because in one of our trailer reactions in for She-Hulk, they, I asked, is Daredevil, Netflix Daredevil, um, what they're calling the 616 uh, yeah. for the MCU, is it MCU 616? And you said you think so. I don't think it is. I think they're going to set up what MCU 616 Daredevil is. So we might get a little bit of what they like from season one, two, and three of the Netflix Daredevil yeah. and have what it would be like here in the MCU. That's the only way I can think of why they would have 18 episodes. So I, I'm one of those people, I've never bought into this, this weird idea that people have that like all the stuff that was made under Perlmutter when he was still running that side of things is non-canon. No one has ever, ever come out and made any kind of official statement that any of that's non-canon all of that is strictly born i think from people who didn't like them or were wondering why aren't there a billion and a half references to captain america in this because like, they didn't need it they made references to it. i mean the very first episode of daredevil they reference the fact they're mm. getting their apartment so cheap because of the attack on new york that happened in the avengers yeah so you notice the references, though, get a little bit less. And with me, I always, like, headcanon-wise, which is, like, yeah. Daredevil is part of the MCU. And, like, though, I was like, oh, the ones that I like are part of the MCU. The ones that I don't are. Yeah. I headcanon that because no one told me otherwise. Um, we kind of know a little bit that Kevin Feige did not like some of the stuff. So... I was just yeah. like, oh, well, if Kevin Feige doesn't like it, it's probably not canon. He's just not going to come out and say it completely but i think he's gonna kind of i think now because we have the multiverse mm -hmm. everything is canon just in another multiverse and that that and that's that's fine as well i'm just i'm of the mentality of until they actually say it i'm assuming it's all canon until they tell me it's not because mm -hmm. i have no reason to think otherwise i know that kevin feige and ike perlmutter did not get along i know that's part of the reason why the show's on Netflix didn't reference the MCU a lot just because Perlmutter was kind of a petty asshole. I mean, he's known, I mean, it's a well-known fact in Hollywood. He's a jerk. So, but, but it's one of those, it's like, until they make some kind of official statement, I'm assuming it's canon. I, I cause I have no reason not to. That's been having all their stuff interconnected. has kind of been their thing from day one. So I have a really hard time buying that stuff isn't just because someone maybe yeah. didn't like it but anyway i, I full-on think it's multiverse stuff because i think he's gonna fix problems like um uh iron um iron fist is, iron fist there we go i was doing the thing i should have <laughs> just looked down at my fist iron fist I, I think that they would make him asian if they were to put him into the mcu i just think they're gonna just forget that ever happened i don't or think forget it ever happened yeah, yeah. Because there's nothing else that needs to be done with that. You can just let that go. You know, it's just, just and then like on. Jessica Jones season one, perfection. And that person out there agreed. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will say Born Again is the title of a very popular run of mm -hmm. Daredevil comics. So I almost wonder, and that was, and, Born and Again, they were kind of doing a little bit of that in season three. Yeah. It seemed like that's kind of what they were building towards. Mm hmm anyway which i think also goes back to why i think they're going to keep the netflix show as canon is because they were kind of building towards born again so i wonder if the reason it's 18 episodes is because they're gonna just do a as close to a shot for shot adaptation as they can like go full mm -hmm. scott pilgrim with it and just like take frames of the comic and recreate them on screen so, because I, I'm trying it's to gonna make me so sad with Karen. I, I know, and that's because again, that seems like something we've kind of been building towards. I was shocked she made it out of season three, um, and I'm trying to remember how many issues Born Again covered. Um, because I wonder if it was 18 issues. 
I'm actually kind of wondering if it was 18 issues. If it was 18 issues, that's that would be kind of poetic. That would yeah, be so, poetic. somebody I, I can't find someone it. tell us in the comments. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, the storyline first appeared in Daredevil 227 through 31. So that's that's not 18. That's nope, that's four. <laughs> um, yeah, so okay, so it's not going to be like that, but it was a nice idea while I had it, but. So that was kind of the big one. I I watched a video of people reacting in Hall H when, and that was like he puts everything up for Phase Five except Daredevil. That was the thing he said last about Phase Five was, oh, and by the way, <laughs> eighteen episode Daredevil revival, and the room lost their shit. So that's just that's that's because he knows people of all the Netflix series. That's the one everyone's been begging for more of. I love Daredevil. I loved him in the comics. I, I love him and um, I loved him in the show. And so I, I was so glad Charlie Cox, they brought him and Vincent D'Onofrio. So I think he's an amazing kingpin into the MCU. So the fact that we're going to get a, a revival of it, I'm excited. I am too. I'm so, so. And there's there's a lot. I mean, they also and confirmed with this, we're getting uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Secret Starting Invasion. out phase five. Yep. Yep. They, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Now, as far as Guardians Volume 3 goes, a trailer was shown at Comic-Con. It has not been released as of the time we're taping this. There is a leaked one going around. I'm not going to watch it. I, I don't... Don't do that, guys. Come on. Like, stop doing that. Um, but it was confirmed at Comic-Con that Guardians Volume 3 will be kind of the finale for the Guardians of the Galaxy and the mm -hmm. MCU. Or at least this group is what is, I think is what it was said. Not everyone is dying, right. they said, but it is the end of the group. Which yeah. is going to be very interesting. Well, it, it is, considering we still don't know what's going on as far as them looking for Gamora, if they are still doing that. Yeah. We know that Chris they, Pratt... They say they're kinda, going a little bit more into uh, Rocket Raccoon, too. Yeah, into, and his origins. I think they said there was a baby raccoon on screen. That's adorable. So um, I, I'm going to probably like cry during it. So <laughs> and everyone loves Nebula, and Nebula is one of those characters you can just kind of pick her up and put her anywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it'll work. Um, because we got a little, we got a little bit of them in in Thor: Love and Thunder. Uh, so I'm not super sure where this is going to take place. If it's going to overlap with that or pick up where Thor: Love and Thunder left off. But um, it'll be it, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, we also have Echo, which is the spinoff of Hawkeye, is currently filming. Um, we, uh, which Marvel, I think ben Vincent D'Onofrio is going to be in that as well. Did I don't know if that was confirmed or not. I think let's, let's see. it may have been. I don't have that on the article. Here I don't have that over here yet, no. I think um, that was just me in my head hoping. <laughs> yeah, it, it's one of those. This, this article was published yesterday so maybe that got announced today or something or after the article i don't know but it's not in here or or it was um, announced in my head and yeah, i'm making or that my too. head canon real <laughs> uh we know the marvels is coming which is obviously tease at the end of ms marvel uh Loki apparently it's gonna be a musical at the beginning that's what you were saying earlier yeah. and the more i think about that the more i love that especially yeah. the way it was described there were what i heard people communicate with song yeah i heard online yeah that it's they go to, she's on a planet, they don't speak, the way they speak is through song. So, if we just get full on Bree and uh, um, Han Vellani, and then, um, what's... Uh, oh, who plays, who, who plays Photon or whatever they're she's yeah. writing this. Um, <laughs> Are they all going to be singing at the beginning, or is it just going to be Captain Marvel at the beginning singing? I don't know. It kind of, they've been playing with genre in the yeah. MCU, depending on which movie it is. They've never had a musical before. So they're like, fuck it, let's do a musical. Yeah. Uh, Tiana Paris. Tiana Paris. Tiana uh, Paris. Yeah. In WandaVision and the Marvels. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it, I'm, 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 we kind of, cause I mean, yeah, with Guardians of the Galaxy has always been kind of a, jukebox musical in the sense that it was just a lot of mm -hmm. you know uh, uh not really musical but very music heavy um yeah so we'll see um and thor love and thunder kind of took that a little bit from the guardians of the galaxy 
adding that bit. jukebox uh, music feel. Well, even Ragnarok did that with how they incorporated the immigrant song from, from yeah. Zeppelin. So twice. Um, Loki season two, I think he said they're in pre-production on right now. Um, Get Blade some little is, Yeah, we are. We're getting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, Kang. We'll do some conquering. Yeah, we're going to get into that in a little bit here. Um, we know Blade is confirmed. Ironheart is going to, is in, I think it's in, I think it's shooting right now, actually. I think, yeah. I've, or no. And or maybe I said in, her, I think those were her scenes in Black Panther is what I saw. But Yeah, um, and I said in the Wakanda Forever uh, trailer thing, like, they're starting her off in the movie mm -hmm. before she gets her show. So we're going to see her in Wakanda, which will be interesting. I think what they're going to do with her is she's going to be one of those MIT students that got her, uh, got a grant from Iron Man when he was there saying, all oh, your projects yeah. have been granted. So I think she's going to be retconned into the crowd, kind of in the same way Quentin Beck was retconned yeah. to the background for in, um, it wasn't No Way Home, it was um, Spider-Man Far From Home. Yeah, no, I think you're absolutely right. I think it's a great a great way to incorporate that, especially because you can already see the parallels between her and Iron Man's first appearance for hammering out mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the piece. Uh, I just saw a picture on Facebook of a side-by-side -side of Tony Stark hammering his first suit and she's there in her tank top hammering her first shoot, her first suit. So um, that'll be cool to I'm see. Uh, Agatha Coven of comment, Chaos. Read it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Agatha Coven of Chaos, which is the spinoff from WandaVision they've been talking about because Agatha in that show is uh, just Catherine Hahn. Give her all the awards. Um, and then, yeah, Thunderbolts is going to close off. And that's that's phase five. And then everyone was like, oh, yeah, cool. And then Kevin Feige said, you guys want to hear about phase six? And everyone's like, yes, Papa Feige. Yes, we, yeah. <laughs> um, we got a first look at what phase six is going to be. Um, phase six, I got to pull the picture up here because it's not right in front of me anymore. <laughs> Um, we have start off with Fantastic Four. Yeah, we're starting Phase Six with Fantastic Four. I said uh, off off camera, not having Fantastic Four in Phase Four is a missed opportunity, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, we've got we've got a little bit of it in in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, um, uh, but the, we got two huge drops. That I think everyone, A, there were rumors circulating about it right before Comic-Con. And we knew eventually we were going to have to get to this point anyway. But the next two Avengers movies uh, were announced to close out Phase 6. There's going to be Avengers, the Kang Dynasty, and Avengers Secret Wars. Which, yay. Secret Wars makes me so excited. Because if there's any way to close out something called the Multiverse Saga... Secret Wars is how you do it. One hundred percent. That's their flashpoint. That's yes. That's where yes. you do that. Um, they agree. They agree. They hundred percent agree. <laughs> so we, yeah, for Phase Six, we also got confirmation. What else are we getting in Phase Six? Um, we got a bunch of dates, or um, or like with the shows, you know how they're like, we'll say fall or summer or winter. So yeah. we got dates, but we don't have titles attached to those dates so i think we'll get those at d23 yeah i think d23 is going to be where because because kevin feige even said throughout his entire presentation we'll get more more details are coming mm -hmm. so i think between now and d23 we're going to get some sprinklings and then d23 i think is where they'll fill in the rest of these titles we might see some first looks finally at some of the stuff that's mm -hmm. coming. Probably get another Black Panther trailer. We'll have uh, our Guardians of the Galaxy trailer either there or no. like for the public or before that. Um, yeah. Just the fact too, I know we've speculated, we've jokingly as fans called it the multiverse saga, kind of yeah. with stuff that's been going on Loki and with No Way Home. But to get that confirmation yet, this is the multiverse saga. And so I really, really hope that going into... Um, phase five we really get those full stories that are going to tell us exactly what's going on that we can look back at phase four and be like you know what actually it was good it was a good setup because i've right now we're in that uh, mode of phase four it exists we're in it and mm -hmm. i was talking with with uh, uh, amaru moses friend of the show earlier today it's people and i've said this a lot 
And I think a lot of people have forgotten what phase one was like. Mm -hmm. Phase one was fairly disjointed. It was just a lot of, here's this character, here's this character, here's this character, and now we have the Avengers. And it, that, yeah. it was, it was that's, that's what it was. We didn't know what the big story was going to be because we got our first taste, tease of Thanos at the end of the Avengers, but we still didn't know what the hell they were going to do. It wasn't until phase two that we started seeing teases for the infinity stones and more yeah. character and actual plot things happening. And phase four is basically phase one of this new saga. Yeah. So it's a lot of groundwork laying. Exactly. And I think for a lot of people that they've gotten so used to what the MCU has been giving us that they're expecting that in this phase. I think you and I, we've said our issues with this phase is more uh, storyline and less about like, why isn't everything connecting or why are we knowing what's going on kind of thing. I, my biggest issue is contained stories. Like, yeah. yes, this should be setting up for the next movie or show and like they did in previous phases, but it should still be one contained story. I shouldn't have end the story like wanting more in a bad way. Yeah. Like, I should be wanting more and I'm like, I can't wait until the next thing. Yeah. So I hope that in phase five that I will get back to that way of how I was with the MCU. So all this stuff is exciting to see. Yeah. Let's see what they do with it. Yeah. With phase five, phase five, I think, is going to be where we're really going to be building out towards. Mm -hmm. Because we know Kang is showing up in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Yeah, he was already set up in Loki, so I'm assuming he'll be back in Loki season two. And he said he's doing some conquering. He said that. That's what Maybe he said. Yeah. So, and with Guardians Volume Three, there's there's a lot of there, with whatever the hell was going on in Eternals, which I don't think anybody to this to this day even stole. That post credit scene was such a waste. I, I know, want to know. I really want to know. Is that thing still in the Indian Ocean, and how is that fucking up the Earth? Because, like, it has to be fucking up the earth. <laughs> it's got to right? be. Oh, it's got to right? be. The climate is, yeah. I it. Mm, I don't know. We kind of need they, that. They, they can't out. leave that alone. That's that's my one thing. Yeah. Please let me know. Even if they do what they did where they make that Avengers headquarters. Like, they got to tell us how yeah. that thing in the Indian Ocean. Like, come on. Yeah. The I, celestial I, in the ocean? Come on. Uh, through the freaking atmosphere? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's but again that's what phase five is going to be for. Phase yeah. five is going to be where we start learning things because we had that we'll call it blade teaser at the end of Eternals. Sure, um, I don't know how the hell that ties into anything, but we know something's going on that involves the Ebony Blade and 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 Jon Snow. I'm sorry, Kit Harrington, um, and Blade was there, so I I don't know. It, but again. We don't know because we're not that part to that part of the story yet. We're not supposed yeah. to know yet. We'll know when when it's time for them to tell us. So phase five is where we're going to get a lot of that if we go off of how they've done things in the past. And yeah. phase and, five looks awesome. <laughs> and what I'm hoping to is so we got Charlize Theron. We got yeah. he's here. He's there. He's every fucking where Roy Kent. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we. We're getting these characters, uh, Harry Styles. Where are they showing up? Yeah. And they said Thor will return. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where? Yep. You know, that's what I want to know. Is it going to be Chris Hemsworth? Is it going to be Natalie? Is she going to keep coming back? Because now that I've seen her give a damn about these movies, cool. Kind of want to see her come back, especially if we're going to do some stuff in Valhalla. All right. Cool. I'm into it. Um, but again, we don't know what else is coming in Phase 6 yet other than Fantastic Four and two Avengers movies, which is still awesome. Yeah. Um, and we've got to see what else they're going to do with Shang-Chi. We know the Ten Rings is supposed to be coming back is what was said at the end of Shang-Chi, Shang -Chi, that uh, the Ten Rings will return. A um, lot of setup. Just, mm -hmm. But we're getting to the point now, okay, well, we're ending a phase. It's time to start paying off some of that setup. But I and have we got faith. the animated shows coming too. We got oh our first... God. Marvel Zombies is rated mature, yeah. TVMA. So that makes me think that Daredevil should be TVMA. It's a big uh, step. And yeah, Daredevil should be TVMA as well. 
I, I also think that phase six is where they're going to introduce. I, I know, I know with what happened with at the end of Ms. Marvel, people were anticipating an X-Men announcement of some kind. Now we got the animated yeah. show is, is coming, but that's all we got. People, I think we're kind of expecting a big X-Men announcement. I think that might be something I for think phase they're one six. of the empty ones in phase six. Yeah. I think we're going to get mutants and eat. So like, yeah. Wakanda Forever, Namor has to be a mutant. He's Marvel's first mutant. Yeah. So like they have, they're probably going to use the M word or drop the little stinger of. Please keep so, doing that. Please, please keep, keep doing, doing it. it. Kevin Feige, <laughs> I love you so much. I love that you did that in Doctor Strange. And when it happened in Ms. Marvel, I about shit my pants. Please, <laughs> please, the way you did that with Spider Man, where you used the '90s theme as the inspiration. Please keep doing that. I love that so much, and I never want that to end. Every and time, every time a mutant pops up, I don't <laughs> care. I don't care if it's every time one walks on screen in an X Men movie. Every time a mutant walks on screen, play that sting because nothing gets my adrenaline going more than that sting. <laughs> that is one of the best animated show themes of all time. I never don't want to hear it. <laughs> but it uh, so. Well, check with Ludwig Göransson. Be like, hey, bro, yeah. did you put that in um, for Neymar? Yeah. But I think we're going to get mutants in each, like at least like one, maybe yeah. not in each title, but they're going to be spread out separately and then they're going to come together. I also think phase six is because if they're willing to go ahead and say, okay, you know, zombies is. TVMA, Disney's willing to take that as a big step. I'm not kidding. That's a big step for Disney. Mm -hmm. Cool. Where's my Deadpool 3? Yep. Where's my Deadpool 3? Which that Ryan Reynolds is. said, if Deadpool 3 is going to be a thing, it's rated R. He's he's told us that. Yeah. So, and I've, I have pitched my, I have pitched my idea for how to make Deadpool 3 work so many times on the internet. Deadpool kills the Fox universe. Not even uh, that's funny, but no, I just need <laughs> I just need Deadpool celebrating being in the MCU by going to Disney, walking around with the Mickey Mouse hat, eating a churro, and then he sees like a giant Thanos, you know, storming storming down, and he gets like, oh no, Thanos is here, runs up, runs his sword through Thanos' head. Turns out it was a guy in a costume entertaining the children. And the next thing you see is him in a meeting with Kevin Feige and, and Bob Chapek oh and all of them God. saying, you're fired. Yes. And the rest of the movie is him trying to get back into the MCU. Yes. Deadpool 3, go picture. Hire me yes. as a writer. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, with, with the animated, we got a confirm, We got more information on Spider-Man freshman year. Mm hmm a lot of questions around that one, though, because... I think it's a multiverse. It's going to be in a different universe. That's what it's going to have to be if, if, yeah. with what they're pitching, because, well, we do know that Daredevil's going to be in it. Yep. And it's Charlie Cox voicing him. It is animated. Yeah. Um, but there was artwork of Doctor Strange. It looks very comic book accurate, yeah. a lot of these designs. And there's Doc Ock is in it. Norman Osborn, Norman Harry Osborn, Osborn. Yeah. Um, I so it's gonna because but I think that's I think that was a choice that was made after the initial announcement because initially when the show was first announced last year, they said it was gonna be MCU, yeah, like six one six. I don't think that's gonna be the case. I don't anymore. think it's the case anymore. And I think they also said that they have uh an that they're gonna have um Spider Man sophomore year as well. Yeah, they they did they announced that that they're that, that that's the plan, and I think part of this is something they're doing to where they're not having to worry about Disney or uh, Sony rather. I think this is a way of just kind of like like Sony's letting them use the character, but this this lets them just kind of just not step on any toes whatsoever and just do their own thing. Is this Tobey Maguire Spider Man? I don't know. I think because because I think the I think the kid that's voicing Peter is the one that voiced him in What If, which we are getting yeah season two of What If we are getting season two um, of What If, Lost and I think they said that. too the Neil Gaiman is it um oh my god what's the year you know the one where it's like Doctor Strange works for the Queen yeah what's um, what's the year on that I'm I'm pulling up the article here um. Neil Gaiman's uh, 1602. 
1602. There we go. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I know it's Neil Gaiman. I know it's way, way in the past. Doctor Strange works for the Queen of England. Yeah. So, uh, in very interesting comic that but that's talking about, one of the episodes. They're talking about Shang -Chi, Shang Chi uh, fighting Odin, uh, Iron Man stuck on Sakaar, um, which they said is going to be basically the MCU's version of Wacky Races, which. I never knew how much I needed that in my life until right now. I need that now. Um, so that's coming. They said there's going to be, you know, their take on Captain Carter's version of the Winter Soldier storyline. Yeah. Um, what if is shaping up to be pretty good? We but zombies getting its own show, and what they've shown us is going to be yeah, some we of have the characters. Kamala Khan, and Kamala Khan is Jimmy Wu. Who didn't know I'd be excited about that, but I totally am. Um, we know that uh, Elizabeth Olsen is coming in to voice uh, Wanda. Zombie in, Wanda, right? Or it's in one of the what ifs. Uh, in one, in one of the what ifs. Um, so we have that coming. But um, I think yeah, Wanda is going to be one of the zombies in Marvel Zombies. Oh, uh, yeah, they had like a, they had a cap. In America, the just his top half, his lower half, yeah. <laughs> Missing his. <laughs> uh, well, Bucky cut him in half. Um, yeah, true. I would because I was thinking, is Marvel Zombies gonna be directly in the same universe as that episode of What If? And it looks like it is with a yeah. half Captain America. Yeah, but we also saw what was kind of like their like the Marvel Zombies version of the Guardians too. Mm -hmm. Um, there was a lot of artwork that was shared that people posted online. But yeah, um, it, it's gonna be they. It's TV mature. It's probably gonna be very gruesome. I probably yeah. will be doing this a lot because I don't like scary things. Yeah, but it's I'm glad it's animated. Sports. I'm glad it's animated because I can deal with scary things in animation way better than I can in live action. Oh, I watch um, a lot of anime. They said <laughs> that you'll be. Yelena, no, Kate Bishop, and Red Guardian are going to be in Marvel Zombies as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember that. You're um, Red Guardians. And Icarus from Eternals is going to be there as a half human, half zombie. Don't know how that's going to work, but uh, I think because, because they're like an android yeah. kind of thing, they can't fu be fully zombified. Um, the article also says there appears to be a team of widows and a biker gang of scrolls that look to be living in the zombie apocalypse with a tire to match. I'm here for all of this. All of this sounds just just sounds like it's gonna be like Sons of Anarchy, but with zombies. I need it. I need it now. <laughs> I need it right the hell now. Now give give me all of it. Um, yeah, it's just everything we got coming. It just looks like okay. Yeah, we got big plans, and all mm -hmm. this for the most part excites me and interests me. Let me see it. And is there any fear of oversaturation? Yes, for me, yes, there is because. With the Disney Plus stuff in particular, with the shows, I don't want them to overdo it. Because I, mm -hmm. I know that they had said that like they were going to have stuff in the shows that affected the movies. We've already seen that come to fruition. And I'm fine with that. I almost like the idea of the Disney Plus stuff just being self-contained. Like, I don't need Moon Knight to appear in the larger MCU. I love Moon Knight as a character. And I love the show. Love the show. I don't need him in the Avengers. I don't. I don't see what role he could serve mm -hmm. in the grand scheme of things. Let that story be self-contained. So it, you, they're doing all these series. Cool. Kind of just let them be on their own, though. I don't need all of that because you because it's a lot. Yeah, it is a save, lot. Save it for the big Avengers, like Secret Wars. Yeah, like. That's kind of where I, mm -hmm. I like that they're connected and that they're allowed to play with each other, but don't yeah. don't make them like codependent on each other. You know, I will say, though, I've watched all nine episodes of WandaVision before seeing Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. And for me, the second viewing of that, I liked it even more. And I liked it the first time. Uh, yeah. The last episode had a few things issues with but actually i was like oh i really enjoy this way more the second time through and i know people said that like oh it's a, they i actually kind of liked the story arc from one division to dr strange multiverse of madness i actually I thought too. it played really well into it and so 
that was one of those where I was like, I don't mind this, mm -mm. but it doesn't have to, we don't need a moon night doing that mm -mm. or uh, we only need it for a few things. So like Kamala Khan doing it into the Marvels. Yes, that sounds great. But yeah. there's, I don't think everything needs to have a direct translation. We could have contained stories that then like at the end of the phase or at the end of all of the saga, yeah. they're there. It kind of in the same way that they did with uh, Infinity Saga. So yeah. I'm hoping that it's going to be like that. And that's kind of what I love about, that's why I love that they're doing stuff like zombies and what if, mm -hmm. where it's like, where it's like those literally aren't connected to a damn thing. Mm -hmm. They're just their own thing. And I'm like, cool, that's a sandbox I would love to play in. Like that, yeah. that's, that's a great idea. Cause then you can literally just do whatever the hell you want. Um, but and, you, and, you and having you establish a character like a watchy the watcher that that character could show up in a movie which but you kind of did technically it, there's yeah. a statue of him in thor love and thunder yeah so you get into this but where i'm getting at is like okay cool we're gonna have riri introduced in wakanda forever cool already banking on her working enough to have her own show like okay that's a lot of that's showing a lot of confidence mm-hmm you know, they did the same thing with, with Echo uh, coming out of Hawkeye. Now, luckily, yeah. Echo kicked ass, and I'd like to see a show about her. But if that hadn't worked, well, cool. Now you've got this thing. And, too, Echo was announced after where this is kind yeah. of announced before. Yeah. So like, we've had, honestly, Ironheart has been on the books for a for while. while. Which I've been excited about because I really love Riri Williams in the comics. Yeah. It's, it's a so. great... Uh, people wrote it off so quick as just being little girl as Iron Man. It's like, that's not what it is. It's it's a very good story. I really mm. highly recommend it. Um, Question, though. Where yeah. was Armor Wars? So, the guy who... One of the producers of the show put on Instagram that it is still like being developed okay. they just don't they don't have it's just not on the calendar right now so that might be something for phase six we'll see <laughs> but yeah he he did say like no it's still very much in the works they just don't know where where it's going to fit into everything right now mm. um because i think now that they're through phase four and they know they've really got to start getting hitting the ground running mm -hmm. this is probably like okay like what's ready what can we move on and what can we use to tie stuff in together? And, and so the I've, order of things is very important too. It is because there was a couple times with the MCU in the in the Infinity Saga where people weren't super sure where things yeah. fell timeline wise. It wasn't until after the fact that it kind of got figured out. Because like with Doctor Strange in particular, the first mm -hmm. one, there was some confusion about where it fell timeline wise. It took people like new rock stars. And also Disney Plus. Thank you, by the way, for that chronological order playlist Disney Plus has. Thank you. That is a brilliant idea. Love that so much. Um, so, yeah, I think they're going to have to... I think at this point, they're trying to keep things as linear as possible. And I know always, that the Guardians months. of the Galaxy Volume 3, that kind of messed them up with the James Gunn being fired, rehired. Yeah. That was a probably a big part of it too. That and Chadwick Boseman dying probably was yeah. like shit. Okay, we got to. That's why there hasn't been as you know we're so used to getting like four or five Marvel movies a year. You know we've had two. Yeah. Two, three, two, three. But we've had a lot of shows. I yeah. think if we would have had more movies, it would. I would have felt oversaturated. I'm with you. I think, and, and, and also part of it too is the shows we've had have been fairly self-contained like moon knight is pretty much its own thing yes wandavision does play into doctor strange those were a year removed from each other yeah falcon and winter soldier is gonna have a big i mean that's that's not for another year or two that we're getting that captain america movie so i didn't need those to go then see the movie i mean wandavision yes but i had enough time between it ms marvel the marvels isn't coming mm -hmm. out for a while so there's there is enough separation um, but that kind of goes to what we were talking yeah. about earlier. It's like, I like having all this stuff, but if it's so interconnected that I can't see one without the other, that, and I am a super fan of this stuff, 
that's when I'm going to start getting overwhelmed. Yeah. And if and, I start getting overwhelmed, it's too much. And I think, too, from us is that we want them to be contained good stories that are not rushed mm -hmm. like they have been. So to have a contained story, that is what we ask. But I also don't know if I need 18 episodes of Daredevil. <laughs> Hey, we might get those 18 episodes and be like, that was fucking awesome. Oh, no, <laughs> please. I'm rooting for it. Yes. But just given the current track record. Hey, it's better than getting six, my friend. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, it is a multiple of six. Yes. I don't know. We'll see. Um, man, and I don't even know if we've covered everything. I, we've probably missed something. There's a there's a I am Groot kids show coming. Yes, it's adorable. I'm so excited. Uh, it's shorts. My niece is gonna love it. It's great. If it's anything like the Baymax ones, cool, sweet. Because those Baymax shorts are adorable, and you could blow through them all in a day. Cool. I think we might it. have to do the trailer for it because we forgot about that one. Did they release a trailer for it? Yeah, they did. Oh, well, you're here. You're, you're seeing this happen live on camera, folks. I had no freaking idea they put a trailer out for this thing. <laughs> okay. How do you put a trailer out for something that's got 10-minute episodes? I feel like if you put out a trailer, you're just showing the show at that point. I don't know. Um, <laughs> we'll see. So, yeah. Like I said, we still probably forgot about some stuff. So, it's, Talk about it in the comments. Yeah, let us know in the comments what we missed. Good Lord. I don't know. We talked about so much. What were some of your favorite things from San Diego Comic-Con? Uh, how do you feel about the way DC handled things? How do you feel about the way Marvel handled things? Are you excited for the multiverse saga? Just just, just go off in the comments. You know you want to. Just go ahead. Just do it. It's fine. It's fine. I'm dropping stuff on my desk, so it's probably time for us to go. Let us know <laughs> in the comments or on Twitter. All our Twitter stuff is in the description. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to our channel and see everything else we have. All of our San Diego Comic-Con trailer reactions. Everything else we have going on. Uh, no Stranger Things watch along this week because I was not feeling well last week and i didn't have a chance to record it so i'll get caught up i promise so but we'll see you guys again next time on off the wall bye <laughs>